The Lord is my shepherd. Before you can say to someone, hey, let me tell you about my shepherd. Let me tell you how wonderful he is. Let me tell you how gracious he is. Let me tell you how merciful he is. Let me tell you how kind he is. Hey, let me tell you how he says, how, how he meets me in the morning and he walks with me throughout the day. Hey, let me tell you how he embraces me at night when I'm lonely and I'm scared. Hey, let me tell you how he takes me through the storm and how he's helped me in times of heartache. Let me tell you about my shepherd. Before you can tell anybody about your shepherd, you're going to have to stop and consider how good he is. When's the last time we just got alone and just told God what a wonderful shepherd he is? You ever think about the details of your life? Looking at my, my wife back there and thinking of her life as a little girl and, and her sister and her mother and how, how a terrible, terrible thing happened when they were little, they were little girls and they were abandoned of their their, their biological father left, abandoned them, and their, their mother, and she was left to raise them alone. And how uh, God brought them back to Indiana, got them in the church there. And the preacher found a place for them to live and found a job and made sure, made certain that they would be taken care of. When Jess was a little girl, uh, her and her sister, they didn't have a father to take their report card to. They took their report card to the preacher, am I right? And if they did good, he'd give them a little bit of money there and tell them, you know, good. And, and they did good. And then one day, one day God led into their lives a, a stepfather who was more than a stepfather. Amen. And all that time, their, their mom, Miss Adrian, used to say, girls, I'm married. I'm married to Jesus. And he takes care of them. Did you ever go hungry? Did you ever not have a place to live? She just loves to tell about her little apartment up there in the bullet hole, you know. And, I mean, the bullet hole where, you know, listen. And, 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 you know, God took care of them. God provided for them. And God's blessed them. And now her and her sister are grown, had their own families, and God's been good to them. You know what? God will never fail his sheep. Amen. You ever think about it? I'm not sure that we could sit still if we would just spend some time meditating, contemplating God's goodness. You think about your life. How God found you and how God, I mean, I think about my own, man. And I, sometimes I just have to say, God, thank you for all you've done for me. Thank you for watching over me. It's a miracle. Every one of us, every one of you are a miracle of God. You're a miracle of his providence. For some reason, God has watched over us and got think about it sometime. You know what? If we would begin to think about what a wonderful shepherd he is, we could not help. We could not contain. We could not keep quiet. We could not but say, hey, let me tell you about my shepherd. Let me tell you about my God. Hey, let me tell you how to know him. And the only way to know him is to trust what his son Jesus did on Calvary. And if you don't know him, not only are you going to take a chance of dying and going to hell, and you will, it's not not even a chance you will go to hell if you're not saved but listen you're missing out on so much more and why he didn't just come to give us eternal life he didn't just come to give us life but life more abundantly yeah. think about your life before you trusted Jesus as opposed to now Think about your life before you acknowledged him as your shepherd as opposed to now. How miserable it was. How empty it was. How devoid it was of joy and happiness. But think about now how he's brought you near to him. And how he's directed you to steal waters. And how he's given you green pastures. And how it's God's sheep. He's just so good. So wonderful. I think about.